are you a father and you're wanting to know what your rights are in a custody case? My name is Carl Burkhead. I'm an attorney with Worth Law Office. I've been practicing family law for about seven years and I wanna help you to make law easy by explaining just what your rights are as a father in a child custody situation. I'm gonna focus mainly on cases where the child is born out of wedlock. If you're, in, if you're married and you have a child, then the law absolutely presumes that that's your child and gives you the same rights as, as the mother in that situation. But it's not the case if you have a, a child without being married. At that point, there's things that you can do to create a presumption of paternity, um, which basically means that the law will assume your dad it doesn't give you any rights as dad, but it does give you kind of a, a leg up, uh, so to speak. So I mean, if you're in a situation where uh, you had a one night stand with someone who comes back and says, oh, I'm pregnant, but you're not exactly, you, you may not even be sure that it's yours, but you want to, you want it to be yours, you can absolutely try to give yourself a leg up short of, you know, absolutely doing a DNA test. Um, you can sign the birth certificate, you can sign an acknowledgement of paternity, you can you know, raise the child as your own for a couple of years. That creates a pretty solid and pretty difficult to overcome presumption of paternity, but none of that actually gives you paternal rights. The only way that you get rights as a father in Oklahoma is if you file a petition to establish paternity. Now, this does get dangerous because you might get in a situation where you file this petition Mom's come comes back and says that you're not dad. The court orders a, a DNA test and they come it comes back that you're not dad. I've seen that happen before and it's heartbreaking. But it's the only way that you can actually establish and protect your rights as a father is by going through the court system. Otherwise, the mom by statute is just presumed to be the custodian of the child and gets to do whatever she wants with the child until you step forward, go to the court and actually assert your rights as a father. The paternity, paternity cases are relatively easy to get done unless there's gonna be a lot of fighting on both sides. Um, if you've done things like uh, sign the birth certificate, you're on the, the, you've signed an acknowledgement of paternity, you've held the child out, those are very solid factors that play into ultimately getting a court order determining you to be the legal father of this child. Uh, if you have questions about this or you're not sure what you can do or if there's anything you can do uh, to try to, to try to establish or assert your, your paternal rights, please give us a call. My name is Carl Burkhead. I'm with Worth Law Office and I just wanna help you to make law easy. Thank you.